Hey everyone, I am so sorry that I'm a little bit late. I hope you all got my message on um, YouTube and Twitter. I will explain what happened really quick while everyone hops on. Um, lady basically got pneumonia yesterday and we were kind of stressing because she had all these different symptoms and you know we're all paranoid right now. We're like, is it a virus? Can dogs get it? <laughs> So this morning I had to give her medicine and it did not go well. And so giving a dog medicine when it's a little pill farm is just really fun times. <laughs> so that's what happened this morning. Um, so I hope you guys are all doing really good. Hi, Christina. Hi, Shar Sharhanda, Megan, April. I am feeling better. I am, I'm not going to lie. I'm sure all of us are feeling a bit anxious. So my anxiety has been kind of Woo. <laughs> but, um, you know, we're all in this together. And that's why I wanted to keep these classes, because I think it's a good thing to keep some sort of routine and have a distraction from everything. And so that's why I'm going to do a class today. And then I'm going to start doing some on Sunday as well. So hi, Katie, Christina, Darlene from the UK. How is everyone in the UK doing? Sorry, I've got my little little foofy ball right here. We're just going to pin that so it's not in the way. Hi from Brazil. Woo. How is everyone today? <laughs> so glad to be here. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, from Germany, Jasmine, Mexico. Wow, from the Netherlands, Texas. So cool. That's what makes me, I try not to get emotional right now. I'm extra emotional, you guys, because the pregnancy hormones are really kicking in at this point. But it's so cool to see everyone coming from all over the world to do these classes. I really love doing these. This is, um, honestly, for me, it's great to do this class, too, because it helps me keep my mind off of everything. So, hi from Iowa and Oregon. Love the cardigan, cardigan where it's from. It's actually a robe. <laughs> We've come to this stage, you guys. I'm wearing robes. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. You guys can see my pregnant belly at this point. Woo, it's getting big. She's getting big. She's kicking a lot. But it's basically a robe, and I just don't do the little tie, or I'll tie it in the back. And I wear that, and I got it from, um, I think, Nordstrom a couple years ago. It's kind of old. It's very well worn. But we have, uh, we have succumbed to wearing robes in public. Well, actually, at home, but, you know. <laughs> Anyways, hi from Finland. Hello from New York, Deborah. Yes, yeah, stay safe in New York, you guys. I hope everyone is just... I'm worried about everyone. Stay safe. I am staying at home as much as possible. My husband is, we're trying not to do any errands, but if we need like medicine or groceries, he's braving it out there and going to get stuff. So anyways, let's get right into the class and then I'll answer some questions as we go on. Um, so we're doing hooded eyes today. So let me find my visuals that we used last time. <laughs> so let's find the hooded eyes one. So we guys... I'm going to give you some really good tips today, and we're going to do some techniques together. So here's hooded eyes. If you guys missed the eye class, I did that last week. So I'll link to that below so you guys can check that out. But this is um, the visual that we had for that. And basically hooded eyes, some of us have it naturally, some of us get it as we age. Mine are starting to get that way as I age. It's not really bad yet, but I still want to demonstrate it on myself because I cannot get models in here with all of this going on. So you guys are stuck with my face. <laughs> um, but hooded eyes is basically where this part right here starts coming over the lid and sometimes it can start to come down a bit. So you wanna figure out what is a good placement for that that will be really flattering, but still be really fun. So I'm gonna show you that. And I've got a couple of visuals that we talked about in last class too. Um, I'm sorry I'm winded, you guys. It's getting, baby is definitely sitting on my long so if i'm wheezing through class sorry <laughs> so one of the techniques that works really good is the open banana this works great for um hooded eyes because you want to keep the lid really open and bright and fresh as much as possible the other one that we had was the cut crease works really well and that's this guy here so I'm gonna do this one today. I'm not gonna do a really strong cut crease. I'm gonna do something very easy, very fast. It's great for work for every day. So uh, thanks so much, Lee. I'm from North Jersey. <laughs> I had hooded eyes and had surgeries. I don't wear glasses anymore for vision. Okay, that is good to know. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna use my Matrix palettes, which these are restocking today, you guys. Um, so I... Um, just want you guys to know if you can be patient with us. I had to make the hard decision yesterday. That's why it's been a little stressful this week is that um, Makeup Geek, we show, shut down our operations for a couple weeks because it was stressful. I'm not going to lie. Yesterday, I was kind of freaking out because 
we never know how financially that's going to hit us, but I have to be really careful about the staff and they have to come first in their health and it's not worth risking their health for everything, but we do still have the online store open. If you guys can be patient, we'll ship those out after April 1st when we're back, um, when everyone's back together, hopefully, and healthy and all of that stuff. So um, we are still having the online store. We do have the Matrix palette, the neutral. We finally got it back in stock. Um, we got a second round of production, so it's in there. <laughs> Anyways, enough of that blabbing. Okay, are they restocking today? I Yes, they should be in today. So check the site now, if not email customer service, but it should be sometime today. So um, yeah, so my staff is working from home, the, the ones that can, and then everyone else, we're just making sure they're taken care of so that no one is highly affected from this whole thing going on right now. So I'll give more updates as we go along. <laughs> okay, so let me pull this in. You guys get to see... My brows are not good today. We're just gonna ignore those. <laughs> okay, so I've got all my base makeup on and all of that great stuff. I am going to take a dome brush like this one, just something that's kind of, can you guys see the shape of that? It's a very dome shape. We're gonna use this to come in here. This technique is so easy. So basically I'm gonna do a very soft cut crease. Well, there went my visual. We're going to do a cut crease, but it's not going to be very sharp because I want it to be very soft and wearable and I want this to be quick and easy. So if you guys are need something that's fast, you don't want to spend a lot of time like carving, cutting, all of that stuff, this works. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to do purples today. What do you guys think? Should we go somewhere in one of these two rows here? I might do, I might do a mixture of these three rows. We're going to do some pinks, maybe a little corals in here. So I'm going to stick with these rows right here. So for hooded eyes, you want to, I know I don't have hooded eyes. <laughs> you guys are stuck with me because I can't get models in here. We're, we're all supposed to be isolating. <laughs> we're going to pretend I have hooded eyes. They're, they're starting to get a little hooded. As I get older, they're going to start coming down, but I will show you. I'm going to do one eye and show you the difference. It's crazy what this technique can do. Okay. So you are going to go in, you guys, with a color that is in the medium range. We don't want to go too dark. So you're not going to go down here to a level four to row four. You want to stick in this range. If you want to do new, there we go. If you want to do neutrals somewhere in here, unless you have deep skin, you're going to go down here. So you want shadows that are um, a couple shades darker than your skin. So like, here's my skin here, like somewhere in here, like cheetah bear, even honey badger would work. Um, latte as usual some of these guys right here you see how they're darker but they're not super super dark if i were to have deeper skin i would go in one of these two rows here okay so let's go in with the purple let's do actually let's do a pink because i did purple i think in our last class okay i'm gonna do this one this is one of my favorites this is a staycation so let me show you the color right in there I want to keep everything up here medium colors, not too light, and then we're going to fade it up. I want to utilize this space up here. So I'm going to take staycation. I'm going to do one eye so you guys can see the difference between my eyes. Okay. So this is staycation. It's a nice, really pretty corally color. And then I'll do some purples underneath. I like purples and corals. You guys know it's my favorites. I'll try to let me know in the comments what you guys... um what color combos you want me to use for the next coming classes. So this Sunday, I'm doing a bonus class and it's all about makeup tips that you were lied to about. It's gonna be a very juicy class. I hope you guys join. It's gonna be at noon Pacific time on Sunday. Okay, so I am doing all of my color up here. I'm leaving the lid alone. No touchy, don't touch the lid. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go one shade above. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter to have something to blend it with. And this is the color Peach for the Stars. So let me show you that. I was here for my crease. I'm going lighter for slightly above it. So we're gonna go up in here. Kind of bring it up. I'm gonna go over to a neutral palette and go in with Peach Smoothie. Sorry, you guys, I have to use my phone as a mirror. I really want you guys to see. <laughs> Does anyone know what concealer brush Marlena used in the last live? Shoot. Honestly, are you talking about the, oh, was it, um, hold on. Was it this one? Is this one you're talking about? This is the It Cosmetics 
Pro Brush Concealer. I will add links to last video. I'm sorry, I didn't I? I forgot, but it's the It Cosmetics Pro Concealer. It's this guy. I really hope to do as many of these as you can. I'm on day six of isolation. I'm so barred. <laughs> yes, I will do a class Sunday. I promise. If if I can do more, I will. I promise. <laughs> I'm trying to do as much as I can before baby gets here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a warm brown color. I'm gonna go in with creme brulee. Here's why. Um, if I'm trying to do warm kind of peachy tones here, do you see how nice that um, creme brulee and all of these kind of warm shades look in here with peaches? So I'm going to wipe off this brush. We're going to go in with creme brulee and kind of soften it. Do you see how a lot of my color placement, I'm having fun up here. So with hooded eyes, this is your play zone right up here. This is where we're going to play, 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 play. Here, we're, we're down to business. This is work. This is the weekends. <laughs> That's how we're going to think about it. Uh, thanks so much, Penny. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to, do you see how it's still a little harsh in here? It needs to be blended a little bit more. I'm going to wipe this off, and now I'm going to go in with one of my highlight colors. I'm going to go in with Banana Split. It's just kind of a goldeny color. It's close to my skin, but maybe just a little bit darker. So I'm going to go here. And we're going to blend this out. And let me show you a blending technique. Do you see how sometimes when you blend, you, you lose a little bit of your color? No big deal. All you have to do is go back in with the peach for the stars, pick up some more of the peach color, and just go back in and, and start blending. It's just a matter of going back and forth between your colors. You guys see that okay? When will the neutral palette be back in stock? It should be stocking today. We love when YouTube uh, tries to kick me off. Okay, so we're just blending this. Thanks so much, Christine. Someone asked, when will Makeup Geek be available in Europe? We do ship internationally and it's free over $65. We are working to get it into um, distributors' hands out there. We just need a little bit of time. I'm hoping later this year. I know it sucks because it takes a bit, but certification takes a little while. Okay, so that is our base right here. I'm going to actually go in with a lavender color. Um, so I'm going to go in with this here. And this is where we're going to go with a light and shimmer. So if you guys are okay with shimmers, now I get a lot of questions like, oh, I'm, I have wrinkly lids or something like that. You can wear shimmers. I promise you. It's not going to make your wrinkles look any worse, any of that. And it doesn't matter anyways. We all age. We're all going to get wrinkles at some point. Who cares? <laughs> So please don't feel like you guys can't wear shimmers depending on your age. You can wear them at any age. When I am 80 years old, I'm going to be rocking bright colors and, and glitters and shimmers, and I don't care. <laughs> but I promise it'll be flattering. So you want to put a light color on the lid. I'm going to go in with Daydreamer, and I'm just using a kind of flat-ish brush, just something that's you can pat color on. So we're going to swipe, swipe, swipe here, pick up the color like that. And if you want to use your fingers, you can too. Okay, so pat this all on the lid. This is a nice light purple color. Now the reason why you want to, look how much bigger my lid is. Do you see the difference between this eye and this eye? Can you guys see? Whenever you put a light color on the lid, it makes it appear larger and it almost opens up your eyes. When you use a darker color or brighter color up here, it's going to recess it a little bit. So that's why you want to apply a light shimmer on the lid. You can do a light matte as well, but shimmers really reflect light and it's really going to open your eyes and make the hooded part push back a little bit. So now let's do one more step. So that's easy peasy. This is like, I've got to go to work. I've got five minutes. I don't have time to be messing around. Nobody got time for that. <laughs> so now we're going to take a... Um, let's use this guy. I'm trying to find, I have to define crease brush for Makeup Geek. I don't know if we still sell it. It's kind of old, but I'm going to now go in. Um, let's do a purple color now. Let's go in a little bit darker. So if you really want to define this and push that hood back even more, go in with a little bit darker color. So we can, should we do the same row? Let's do the same row. I'm going to pop down here. I know you said don't do darker, but let's try it. This is the color, brain farts, hot tamale. 
Hatsumale, <laughs> can you do a video with the quads that are available? Yes, I can, Myra. I did some last week. I'll do some more um, in the next coming weeks too. Okay, so this is hot tamale. So we have staycation, peach for the stars, a little creme brulee to get that fade up. I've got daydreamer, a foil shadow in the lid. Hot tamale, if I wanna really make this crease push back. Okay, look at my eye now. And Lori's late. Lori, you are late to class, but hi from Texas. <laughs> okay, I am going to use just a small dome brush we're going in with hot tamale this is our this is our row right here we're doing purples and corals today look how it's pushing that hooded part out do you guys see i'm staying above the crease let me bring it up a little bit you guys see all that just want to say i love that there's no talc in your eyeshadows they breaks me out yep Trying to keep it that way as long as possible. It's hard to formulate without talc because talc is really smooth and that's why everyone uses it. So getting a balance of smooth shadows. Okay, look at the difference between my eyes. Look at my lid. That popped out. Insane, right? Now, if you feel that's too dark, just keep, take a dry brush. We're doing the dry brush blending. I'm doing round motions like this, doing soft windshield wiper motions like that, kind of buffing it out. And that's how much it pops right here, okay? So now let's go under the lower lid. I'm going to, I like with hooded eyes, I like adding some color down here. I don't like um, leaving it bare because it can sometimes make the eyes look smaller. If you wanna make your eyes look larger, you should put a little color under here. It's gonna make your eyes almost open up more. It seems crazy, but I'll show you the difference between these two. Um, actually, let's let me answer questions while I do this side because I do want you guys to see the difference. Do you see the, between here? So let me do it again. And I was going to ask you guys too how long you want these videos because I can be really tight with my wording and just be really quick and get them down to half hour. Or do you guys like the um, the longer? Do you like to see you know a lot of blending? Do you guys want these videos to play in the background while you're doing stuff? Let me know in the comments if you want it to be under 30 minutes or 30 to 60 minutes. Okay, so this is staycation. I'm just gonna whip through this. Whew, winded. This baby is pushing up. <laughs> I'm going in with peach for the stars. Whew, I picked up too much color, but that's okay. We're gonna wipe it off. You guys get to see all my mistakes and it's glory. We love lives. <laughs> wipe it off. I'm going in with creme brulee, a nice tan color. <laughs> I like the in-depth videos. Okay, that's good to know. I'll try to do a poll on YouTube so you guys can see. Okay, I'm gonna switch to my smaller brush. So this is the guy I was using earlier. Do you see the size difference? This is nice and fluffy blending. This is detailed. That's what we want. Going in with hot tamale, which is a much darker color. Actually, let's do the lid first because that's how I did it before. Let's pack on some Daydreamer. Pack, pack, pack. Oof, my browser. Brows are rough. Do you guys see it's all a little baldy in there? It's driving me crazy. There we go. Okay. Pack, pack, pack. Daydreamer. Uh, can you please bring your products to the UK? We are trying. I promise. But we do ship internationally. Free shipping over 65 for our international. For domestic, I think it's 50? Somewhere in there. <laughs> okay. Little brush. Hot tamale. Nice deep, deep coral. I'm going in like this, carving it out and blending it up, just like that. I love purple and corals together. Okay, so I don't get a harsh line here. That's when I'm gonna switch back to this guy. I'm gonna go in with peach for the stars, that light peachy color. We're gonna add that color back in to blend it out. So it's all just a matter of going back and forth with your colors just like that okay is that soft enough let me take a little bit of banana split let's blend up here just a little there we go take a little bit of creme brulee blend it in here lost a little bit of my peach so let's put it back put it back marlena put it back <laughs> Put that peach in there. <laughs> Take your time and be yourself. I like when you go into detail. Okay, good. I'm always worried that I'm gonna bore you guys. I don't want you to be like in the background, so. <laughs> it's 
It's my biggest fear, right? <laughs> Zuki girl wants a brow tutorial. I will try. My brows are my least favorite part of my routine. It is not my, not my favorite. Okay. Now let's do under the lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with a small dome brush like this. This is a Makeup Geek one. We haven't launched yet. It'll come out later this year, but just something. Do you see the size of that? It's just a small, it could be like an outer V brush, a pencil brush. We're going to go in with a purple now because I want to keep the purple and the corals. So I'm going to go in with this guy right here. I think this is getting figgy with it. I should know. I should know. Jeez, back to the fuchsia. We just used that last week. I should know this. See how pretty that is? Look at that color with coral, purples and corals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so that's the color right here. I'm going to do this side so you guys can see how much open this is to here, okay? So we're going to put it under here. Look at that color. Look at that color. Sorry, I'm not looking right at the camera. I got to use my phone as a mirror. It's a mirror. Did I see mirror? <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm going to, and then I started getting an accent right there. I'm going to put that under there. Okay. Like that. Now I can go in with a little bit lighter purple. I can go up here to just something a little bit lighter. That's why I like having different ranges of color because as I blend, I can just start moving up the matrix. So that way it's um, really easy to blend this out just like that, okay? Now, if I want to just soften everything, I can take a brush dry and just kind of wipe away down here, just like that. Let me touch up out here. Don't forget to blend. Don't, don't come in in here. We want all of this to be open. That's another trick for hooded eyes. Don't put any darkness here. Leave the whole lid light. It's gonna really open your eyes, okay? Let me, um, let's blend down a little bit. Creme brulee that we used earlier, that kind of tan color. I'm gonna come under here. Do you see how that kind of softened everything? And if I want, I can take that brush, I can go in with a little bit of that daydreamer. I can even put a little under here. Hold on, so you guys can see right there. It just kind of opens everything up just like that. Do you see the difference between this eye and this eye? By pulling this down a little bit with that color, look at how um, open this eye is. Now, if you feel this is too harsh under here, you can always go in. This is my trick for touching up under the eyes. You guys know I love a really thin, excuse me, pigmented foundation. I just take that Dermablend, I put a little bit on my hand. I've done this a few times, but I wanna show you guys. If you wanna clean up under the eyes, this is what I do. Did I just get, what did I get on there? Every class, you guys, every class, I get a smudge of something. Okay. <laughs> I can clean up under here with a little bit of foundation, just really light. Okay, oh yeah, that softened it up, just like that. Okay, look at this eye compared to this one. That's the difference. So anytime you have hooded eyes, my trick is go light on the lid with light shimmer if you can. Go medium to dark up in here, blend it up. This is, this is Saturday and Sunday. This is playtime. This is getting down to business. Have all your fun with your color up here. And then if you can, smudge some color under there. It's gonna open your eyes and make them look a lot better. So let's do this eye while I answer some questions. So I'm going in with Back to the Fuchsia. <laughs> Oh, most stuff is gone in Wisconsin, Emily saying, yep, it's crazy. It's, it's been nuts here. We have, uh, we're out of protein today, which kind of stresses me out because I'm pregnant and doctor's like, I have to get a lot of protein. So I'm gonna be eating a lot of beans today. My lucky husband. <laughs> uh, we have food delivering tomorrow. Fortunately in our area in Washington, our Costco allows deliveries through Instacart. So if you guys can check Instacart, it's an app. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what it is by now. But that's what we did because we are out of all sorts of meats and chicken and we got nothing. I got a bunch of mac and cheese boxes and some rice. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're having for dinner. <laughs> 
How far can you take out your eyeshadow? I have some wrinkles. Are you talking about on the lid or out? If you have wrinkles out here, you could still take it out there. I would just take your brush. Like if you have, um, what do they call them? The crow's lines out here. Just take your brush and blend over them. And that's totally fine. Try it and see. It depends on how deep they are. If they're really deep, then maybe keep the color. You don't go past your brow like that. So you just have to play with it and see. But as long as you have a nice soft brush to blend it, you're good. So let me keep answering questions. Husband, yes. <laughs> we kind of got married secretly. We didn't have a big wedding. We will someday, but um, we just did it because it's my third marriage. <laughs> So I'm going to say on that, but he is definitely the keeper for the end of my days. <laughs> I'm very happy. Okay. He's such a good man. He's been, oh, especially with this whole stuff going on and with my pregnancy, I don't know how I would have survived. Okay. So I'm touching up with foundation. So now we're even. Okay. Let's do, I'm going to put mascara on and then you guys can tell me if you want to see lashes or not. Just like that. Okay. Here's the other trick, you guys. Marlene, is there a way for aspiring makeup artists to reach out to you for mentorship? Just email my customer service team. I know right now it's going to be hard just because I'm limited on time because of the pregnancy. So that's the only thing. But we'll always do our best to give you tips and stuff that you want. So <laughs> always with lashes. Everyone's like, yes, with the lashes. <laughs> Let me pull out a few options. Let's see what I got down here. I've got, it's in the old packaging, but we still have these. I have Charmer. I have... Do we want full glam ones? I have, I have Isabella. The only thing I worry about, so this is my thing with hooded lashes or hooded eyes too. If you wear, let me show you, I'm going to demonstrate. So here's two more tips for hooded eyes. If you wear really, really thick lashes up here, it can tend to overtake your eye and it could make them look a little bit heavier. So I really recommend lashes that are kind of angled out a little bit or um, ones that aren't too, too heavy or too, too thick. Let me show you. So let me put mascara on so you can see what it looks like naturally. And my lashes these days have thinned out, so it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so let me do this. Now, a lot of you guys will probably want to put eyeliner on on the upper lid, I don't recommend it for hooded eyes. If you're gonna put a liner on here, it's gonna eat up some of your space on your lids. So for hooded eyes, I really don't like putting liner up here unless it's really, really close to the lash line, then I would say. Um, I would say it's better to tight line. So I'll show you that in a second, we'll do that too. Hang in there, my poor little thin lashes. They used to be so thick, so mad. I don't know if it's age or because I had lash extensions for a few years and it kind of destroyed my lashes. So they're still long, but they're very thin. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Did I get mascara there? Every time, every week this happens with you guys. <laughs> yes, and liner transfer is bad with hooded lids. That is true. You'd almost have to use a liquid liner, kind of a waterproof one or something like that. So I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous. Just like that, okay? So that's what it looks like without. Let me put a little liner so you guys can see. Let's do this one. Try long lashes, <laughs> something new. <laughs> yep, okay. Ooh. But I want you guys to see what happens with hooded eyes when you put too thick of a, a lash on. It can kind of overtake the eye and it pretty much hides the, um, it hides the lid, which is that, that's what we want to expose. We want our lid to be nice and bright and light. Tight lining is your friend for older eyes. Hell yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Can you recommend a good waterproof liquid liner? I don't know if this one's waterproof, but I'll show you what I'm going to use. It's the Benefit Roller, Roller Liner, I think. Hold on. Okay. So there's my lashes. I used the L'Oreal Voluminous. Now, the roller liner from, it's Benefit, I'm sorry. Whew, it's all dirty right here. It's well used. This is the guy that I'm using. I like it because it's a very fine point to it. So I'm going to do this side with the liner. If you stay really close, sorry, I got to do it in, let me try to do it in the, the phone. Lord help us. Okay, so do you see how close I'm staying? But even with that, 
look at this lid and look at this one. Just me adding that little bit of liner, it's not bad, but it did take up some of that lid space. So already I'm starting to close my eyes a little bit. So that's why I don't like doing a lot of liner. A lot of people are like, I wanna do winged lighter for hooded lids. You can, but it's not my favorite just because it makes your eyes look a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna do this side just so they're even. So I just do very, very little, <clears throat> but I like this one a lot. Sorry, I'm like trying to do this and talk and read questions at the same time. This is the only part of my makeup routine. I'm like, I can't talk, doing liner. <laughs> okay, let me come out here, just like that. Okay, so yes, it makes my lashes look thicker, but it takes up some of that hood. So just try it with and without and see what you guys prefer a little bit more. Okay, let me hold up some lashes. So here's some really long and really thick ones. These are Isabella. I'm just going to place it down so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So we want this side. Yes. Okay. I'm going to take the lashes on the edge with some tweezers. Pull those out. I'm going to cut the end of them just because I know that lashes on me always tend to be a little bit long. Can you rent, recommend a good cheap brush cleaner? The Dr. Bronner's soap. You can get it on Amazon. Don't get it. I hope Target isn't watching this. Don't get it at Target. I did notice a difference in the formula. The one I got from Target was very watered down and very runny, but the one on Amazon, I think directly from Dr. Bronner's um, was a lot thicker and concentrated. It lasted me a lot longer. So I'm not sure what's going on with that there, but <laughs> I'll try to bring it um, next time so you guys can see. Okay. The lashes look really pretty, but look what happened to my eye. Do you guys see how all of that darkness, it hid my lid? And so that's why I don't like doing super thick lashes on hooded eyes because it makes my eyes feel heavy. And look at the hood, it kind of already came down a little bit. So what I really recommend you guys do if you have hooded eyes is to do, um, I wish I had more of them, here we go. I'll see if we can put them back on the site, but they're the mischievous lashes. Let me show you guys. They're three quarter lashes. Do you see how they come out here? And they're not full lashes. I would do, um, I would take some lashes and cut off the edges so you only have a bit here. Or what you guys can do is take um, some trio lashes. Excuse how messed up they are, I've used them a lot. <laughs> Little trio lashes like this. These are the Kiss trio lashes. Uh, Makeup Geek, we are trying to work on some that are better improved. Um, so hopefully those will come out later too. But what you can do is drop a couple lashes out here. Keep your lashes out here more so this is still very open. Let's actually try this. Let me show you guys how to do some of these trio lashes. So I'm going to take my glue. And this is really easy too if you guys are in a hurry. Gouda Beauty, where are you, honey? Where is your lash glue? No, I'll have to use a different one. It's okay. Huda was disappearing on me today. Let's use this guy. Okay. So I'm going to put a little dab of glue right here. And then I'm going to let it sit for just a second. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to put some oil on my lips because they are dry. Favorite lash glue, the Huda Beauty Lash Glue, it's hard to find, is amazing. So I am putting on my lips just a little bit of rosehip seed oil. I got this on Amazon from a reputable seller. Make sure it's not anyone, anyone uh, questionable. <laughs> Any tips for makeup with glasses and hooded eyes? I honestly, I feel like this technique would still look good with glasses. With glasses, you just need to go a little bit more powerful with the pigment, but something this colorful works really good because even when you put your glasses on, the glass kind of tones down the look overall. So just feel, don't ever feel like you can't go above and beyond with the color and pigmentation, but this would be perfect. What about almond shaped eyes? What eyelashes do you recommend? I like ones like Elegant that are tapered. So if you have almond eyes and you wanna exaggerate that, you want lashes that are shorter in here and get thicker and longer as it goes out here. So I like the Elegant ones. Um, what are some other ones that I like? What are some tapered ones? The Ardell Demi Wispies are really good. Let me see. Yeah, I would say out of the ones that we have, Elegant would be the best. Anything that's tapered like that. Do you recommend no liner over tight lining? I would say 
It depends on your preference and your eye. I would try both. I, I'm okay with either one. So um, can you reuse the individual lashes? You can. They're kind of hard to pull off because they tend to come off really easily. So I would say no. That's the only thing that sucks about these lashes is they're, it's hard to reuse them. You can try. Um, you just have to be careful and pull them off um, is the only thing. So I'm going to take my little baby baby lash right here, stick it in some glue. And I'm just going to drop them in on the outer part here and take the end of my tweezers and push it down like that. Let's do another one. So I'm going to take what's left of this little thing. <laughs> I need to see if Amazon delivers lashes too. I need to order some more because I'm not going to Walgreens to get any. Okay, so I'm going to put another lash right here. Oh, not like that. You got to watch how they twist too. Let's scoot that over. Let's try that again. <laughs> so take the lash right at its base like this. Dip it in the glue. Lash glue recommendation for sensitive eyes. Ooh, Are you allergic to latex by chance? If you are, um, the Kiss glue isn't bad. I haven't been really sensitive to that one. So I would try that. And you can get it um, at Walgreens. Uh, most drugstores will have it. So I would say probably that one. So let me drop one more out here. Okay. So do you guys see how I've got just a little bit? Let's put one more baby lash right here so that way it doesn't look too crazy. So let's pull off one of these. Do you see how easy this is from day to day where you literally just put a little glue on and drop it in just like that. You just have to be careful that they don't twist on you. Okay, what do you guys think? It's still pretty natural. Look at the difference between this eye and this eye. Do you see how I didn't hide the hood, but I still have nice thick lashes? And all I did was drop in a few, um, a few trio lashes, and that's it. Really, really easy. So let me do the other side, and then I'll add a lip. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. Hi, Johanna. I love that you guys are answering each other's questions. It's so cool. Okay, so I'm going to drop in this guy here. If you can, do you see how they're a little bit harder to um, stick on? I didn't wait for the glue to dry long enough. So if you can let the glue set a little bit, plus this isn't my favorite glue, so I'm just trying to work with it. <laughs> right there. Hi, Makeupholic from birth. Girl, I feel you. I like that username. I was a Makeupholic from birth too. <laughs> my mom never understood why I played with, um, do you guys remember that Barbie hat? I think they still sell it. My mom was, when I was a kid, was not a makeup person. She didn't wear it a lot. But all of my favorite toys were like makeup and hair and very like, you know, fluffy, you know, stereotypical girly things. And my mom was like, I don't know where you got it from. I was like, I don't know. And it stayed with me. <laughs> so put a lash there. I need to put one in here because it's kind of a little baldy baldy right there. So I'm going to take one more. Lash. Dip it in the glue. It's really easy because all you have to do is dip it in the glue and just slap it on. Just slap it. Come on, glue. Stick for me. There we go. Kind of like that. Let's do one more right there. Can you do a brow video like showing how to find a shape that fits your face? Yes, I can. It may not be soon because for me to do that properly, I need to get some models in so I could show different shapes. But I will um, in the future, maybe after the baby's born. I'll have more time and I'll be able to get models in here. Okay, so there's our, there's our lashes. What do you think guys? What do you think? Hooded, hooded eye makeup right there. Sometimes if you see that the shimmer is coming up a little bit, just apply a little bit more matte shadow and we're good there. Yes, I had that doll and made its face wet. I didn't get to read the whole comment. Hold me, we scroll up. Uh, I didn't get to see the comment, but yes, I had that doll when I was a kid. It was my favorite toy ever. Okay, I'm touching up right there. Because as you get hooded lids, things start to transfer. Lash gone wild. This lash was on spring break. It was trying to go wild on me, but we kept that in, we kept that in line. <laughs> okay, so for the lips, let me do... 
You know what I want to do is um, I'm going to do one of the showstoppers. I think one of our top sellers at Target is Waltz. Do I have Waltz here? Of course I don't. Quick Step's pretty good too. Let's try Quick Step. Can't remember if we have this one at Target. So we'll do that. I like leaving the oil on just like this so it doesn't, it keeps my lips hydrated. My lips are really dry. We'll pretend this is Waltz. This is a closer color, but this is Quick Step. Just like that. And I always have to, I get really sweaty right here for some reason. So I have to go in with that brush and I go in with banana split and I touch it up right there. You guys hear lady snoring. <laughs> and that's the look. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Can you help me with the face anatomy? Lots of confusions with the cheekbone and contouring. I will try to do an advanced class on contouring, but one of the tricks is, is to take a, um, I really like the angled stippling brush from Makeup Geek, this guy here, because you want to feel, can you guys see my cheekbone here? Like I can feel my bone and it's got a little fluff on there too, but you can kind of feel your finger. You'll feel your bone underneath there. That's your guideline for where I put the bronzer and the contouring. Like, let me show you. Let me take some bronzer, feel it under there. And I like this brush because it's angled and I put it up under there. So bam, 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 bam super easy and then i blend it up don't blend it down because it'll give you the beard we don't want a beard <laughs> not today <laughs> you put it up under here that's how you're going to get your contouring really tight and it's not too harsh too if you want to start carving it i don't don't bake don't do that please don't bake down here you guys please let that trend go <laughs> You can take your foundation brush and kind of clean that up a little bit if you want it to be more carved. Do you see the difference between this cheek and this one? Let me show you on this side. So I'm going to feel my cheekbone. Feel that right there. It's usually going to be an angle like that. That's where I know to put the color underneath. Just like that. Now we're even. <laughs> and then you can start bringing it, if it's a bronzer especially, bring it up a little bit fade it up and then you can just put your highlighter on so i like the makeup geek rekindles pretty i got a little chunk out of it but you know <laughs> you can take that or you can take a foiled eyeshadow you can use that too if you want to save money yes phone yes sorry that is uh my doctor calling got an ultrasound today so I'm kind of excited, but kind of nervous because I don't want to leave the house. I'm like stressing about it, but <laughs> Marlena, are you from Oklahoma? I'm not. I'm actually born and raised in California. I lived in Michigan for seven years, lived in Florida for four, and now I'm in Washington. So I've kind of been all over the U.S., <laughs> but home for me is technically California near the Bay Area. <laughs> what is going on with the hair? What's going on with this? I try to be very chic with this, but this is honestly the, I didn't feel like washing my hair today. So I'm gonna pretend that I'm chic with a little bun, but it's actually, it's dirty as hell. We just put it in a side bun. <laughs> what part of Washington near Seattle? <laughs> I am confused by the difference between bronzer and contour. There's not a lot if it's a matte bronzer. In the past, in the early 2000s, bronzer was very like orangey, very shimmery. And it was meant to add just a, bronzed glow to the top of the skin. So if you have a shimmery bronzer, it's more to add warmth to the skin. Contouring could be a bronzer if it's matte or it's generally a cool tone. So I don't have it with me at the moment, my Makeup Geek ones, but contours can be usually a little more cool skin tone and it's meant for creating darkness. And it's always, it should be a matte finish and that's meant to put under places where you want to like darken it. I honestly can use eyeshadows like, sorry, my eyeshadow kind of, I dug into it. It kind of broke. Ignore that. <laughs> so this row right here could be contours. These could be bronzers. So I would go in with something like this. Um, and then you can put that under here to carve it out. But I feel like moving forward, the trends are more for matte bronzers. 
It's just how I feel. <laughs> Contour is to shadow or bring things back. Bronzer is where the sun hits you. Yep, that's a good explanation, Shannon. That was really good. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I hope this helps you with hooded eyes. My tips are keep your color in your play zone up here. Keep the lid light and bright and shimmery if you can. Don't put too thick of lashes on. It's going to hide your lid. So use very light lashes or use ones that are angled out here so this is still open. Don't apply a thick liner up here. Um, make sure you smudge a bit under the lower lash line to open the eyes. And then what else was my other tip? I think that was pretty much it <laughs> for hooded eyes right there. So try this technique, you guys. Mix up different colors um, and let me know what you think next week. So I'm going to see you guys on Sunday. Um, Sunday's class are makeup tips that you were lied to about. It's going to be a juicy class. So make sure to join me on Sunday at noon Pacific time. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for watching. I will see you on Sunday. Bye.